Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another video right here on Free Will Photos. I was going through and editing a photo and came across a use case scenario, if you will, for the blur tool versus the lens blur tool. And not too many people have asked me about this, but I think that this image will very much show how those two tools work differently. So in this scenario, what I wanna do is just add in a nice blur to the overall background here. So if I activate the blur and it's by default set to Gaussian blur, I'll go ahead and click on the mask here, right click, and I already have a mask that I created, but all I did was use the quick selection tool. I didn't do anything special here, and it just selected the building here. Now, obviously, that's the inverse of what I want. So if I go ahead, right click this, and invert the mask, you can see it applies the blur to my background and it gives me like this wispy background, which is good. The problem really comes in with these halos that are going around the building. Now try as I might, if I come up here to masking and I try to move the levels to maybe make this a little bit closer to those selections, it just doesn't work. And then if I change the blur type, it works but then I gotta crank this all the way up in threshold. Now, that could work pretty well, all right? And I'm not gonna knock this, but you still end up with some of those halos around the edges. The workaround, or at least if you experience this, especially when you start looking at the very top of the frame here, if you want to get a blurred background, and you wanna minimize this haloing effect around your mask, what you'll wanna do, I'm just gonna go ahead and close out that mask, hit add filter and open up the lens blur tool. Now, this tool, it gives us some really cool features. So first thing I'm gonna do is just go ahead and paste my mask. Again, I'm not gonna do anything different and I'm not even gonna come up here and start messing with the masking options for the levels. Now you can notice first, it's a very small bloom or glow outline, whatever you want to call it. That's actually going around my subject, but that's actually controlled here by this blooming tool. If I pull it to the right, which of course it's not going to do anything now, but if I pull it to the left, that whole blooming issue goes away from the mask. Because if you look at the mask, it's actually pretty accurate, but the blur tool was not actually making that mask look good. So all I have to do now is pull up on the amount and you can see I'm now getting that background look that I was going for and I get some optical quality here that I can mess around with. So that's just a quick tip. If you find that you're running into a blooming issue on your blurred mask or an image where you apply a mask and it's blurred, well, consider using the lens blur tool and then just pulling the blooming all the way down. That may help reduce that issue. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And until next time, I want you guys to stay inspired. Keep creating. Peace.